So I'm gonna go this way in the first place. So we did just get back from the Hawks game. So this is gonna kind of like acquire into the, the the video that just came out the other day. The Hawks did lose by like it was what 115 to 91. And they came in to the game with them, the the Miami Heat not scoring, and then the Hawks won. I mean, the Hawks lost, and the Miami Heat weren't even scoring in the first quarter. But then that boy Tyler Hero got in the game, and it just he just shut the Hawks down. That man is a menace, bro. Like, I'm gonna start watching his film because I need I need his play style, even though I'm able to. It's just. That hezzy boy, like that is unguardable. Literally unguardable. But I did see like uh Lamborghini, Huracan, it was lime green and had aftermarket wheels on it. I seen a wide body Z on the highway. Um what is it I see? I seen a um a 5.0, it was lower with a duck wing on the back. And it had aftermarket wheels on it. Um, but it wasn't really too much crazy stuff at that game, to be honest. But that boy, Tyler Hero, went stupid, boy. Like, unguardable. Literally. I used to watch him at, um, when he was in high school. Like, that's the crazy part about it. All these players I used to watch in high school, now they're in the NBA doing their thing. All we can say is one day, right? And even if NBA don't work out with me, don't work out for me, it's the second option right here. And mechanics. I'll be doing this in mechanics more than likely. Because I want to be able to work on my own cars. Buy as many cars as I want to. And a house, family, all that good stuff. like the second semester just started and boy like i'm not even gonna lie to you like last week was rough for me literally rough for me i didn't want to put out any content too much going on in the house um basketball not scoring points on the team not helping them out man it was just rough we only won by one point and i only scored one point But now we're back this week, you know what I mean? We're back, we're gonna leave that week behind. Even though it was a, I remember the week. We're not gonna worry about the week, cause it's over with, it's done with. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good. As I seen in the last video, got my YouTube thing on the back of my car. So they know it's me, hopefully that gives me more subscribers i'm gonna put an instagram one back there and we're gonna have like a freezy I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the letters freezy put across the bottom front we'll see how that goes hopefully my windshield wipers don't mess it up but we can't go too cheap on that stuff turn them brights on because you can't see nothing boy gotta watch for deer so i'm not doing too nothing too crazy right now one of the more relaxing relaxing rides make sure my gopro is still on yeah it's still recording y'all should be able to see it's on the wide lens so yeah y'all should be able to see still yeah but like it's very very wild world then i like question about i question a lot of things and one of those things that I question about are like spirits and stuff. Like how, I know, I understand that we're all spirits and we're inside of our body, a body. And when you die, your spirit is supposed to lift up, come out your body. So why do some people rest in peace and then some spirits stay on earth? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna get into too much 
religion type stuff but like some spirits lift up and then some spirits like stay on planet earth and mess with people and scare people and stay in certain places which is weird to me but I was talking to one of my classmates and she was talking about like how in LA this house that has like 13 stairs leading to nowhere and stuff like that y'all probably know what I'm talking about some lady's house that wanted to trap spirits and stuff like that which is like that's just crazy to me like if I see the spirit on the side of the road right am I stopping no I'm going straight past that thing like even if it's in the middle of the road bro I'm hitting that thing I don't care who it is I'm not stopping for no no nah, I'm not doing that like just talking about this is giving me tight vibes because I watch too much scary stuff but yeah the game the game is pretty good Hawks weren't knocking down their shots even though I'm very like not I'm not on anybody's side when it comes to basketball I'm more on the player side even though I want the Hawks to win a championship, not really too much. Like, oh, I want Miami Heat to win. Freak the Hawks. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm going for a lower team, but I'm not really, I don't really have a favorite team. I more go for players, favorite players from the team. You feel me? Like, I'm not into, oh, this is my favorite player type junk. But the crazy thing about it and then my dad he told me he went to the Porsche Experience Center in Georgia he said he had some of the most fun in those cars and reasons to that being are because he rode he didn't even drive he rode in a 911 S the newer one he was like I didn't even want to drive I felt like I was going to crash it and he said that thing breaks so fast from 120 to zero. I was like, hey man, it's a Porsche. Less horsepower, like that that that's that's engineering for you because Hellcats, yeah, they throw a whole bunch of power in them, but they don't care about handling and stuff like that. All they care about is the body, the way it looks, the wheels, the tires, and the motor. When you come to German engineering and Stuff like that. They care about their tires, the wheels, how light the wheels are. Not too really, not really so much horsepower. And so it's power to weight and then power to torque. So it's it's crazy, man. Like I wish, I wish I could drive a Porsche one day. Like I drove my uncle's AMG, and that thing was that thing was crazy. Literally crazy, like. I want to drive it again. I'll make a video on it one day. 